Sedimentary structures are features geologists use to understand conditions of deposition of past environments. We can learn about river direction, river speed, and even biological life, all by looking at structures in sedimentary rocks. There are lots of different types of sedimentary structures, including plain beds, dunes, ripples, and more. Hi, I'm Dahlia, and today we're going to talk about different types of ripples and what they tell us about the Pioneer Valley way back when the dinosaurs were here. Asymmetrical ripples form in the presence of a unidirectional flow, or a one-way current. Sediment is dragged up one side of the ripple, it accumulates right at the top, and then it falls down where it's blocked by the sand before it. We're looking down at a riverbed. As the water flowed over the sediment, it dragged and eroded from its long or staw side of the ripple up to the crest and over to the short or lee side, which is downstream. With experiments and observations of modern rivers, we can see the formation of asymmetrical ripples in action. So when we look at rocks like these, we can infer not only the presence of a river, but also the direction of flow. That's why we call asymmetrical ripples paleocurrent indicators. When we looked at the asymmetrical ripples, we saw three main features. One, a pointed crest. Two, a longer stoss side. And three, a shorter lee side. But these ripples look a little different. Here, we have that same pointed crest, but the sides look almost symmetrical. And there's that funky honeycomb shape. These are called interference ripples. They form at the intersection of two different currents hitting the same surface at the same time. Interference ripples can be found in shallow water environments like slow moving rivers or lakes. These ripples also have a crest and their sides look pretty even, but you might notice they occur in straight, almost parallel lines. These are called symmetrical ripples. Unlike asymmetrical ripples, which form in the presence of a unidirectional flow, symmetrical ripples form in the presence of waves as the water goes back and forth, each side of the ripple becomes alternatively a site of deposition and erosion. So if there are back and forth waves, are we looking at a river environment? Probably not. We can find these ripples in a lake or an ocean. Now let's see what we can find downstairs. The items you see in this collection represent the environment of the Pioneer Valley during the Jurassic period. This is the same time dinosaurs walked around in the soft, muddy sediment, leaving behind the footprints you see in this room. We also have a record of the different ripples from the same places. Let's take a look at this specimen. I'm observing that honeycomb pattern, which means these are interference ripples. We can infer that they were formed in the presence of a shallow water environment, like a lake. Now let's check out the diorama. Your eye. I see ripples with two symmetrical sides, as opposed to ripples with one long staw side and one short lee side, like asymmetrical ripples. Waves along a lake margin created these symmetrical ripples. By looking at rocks in our environment, rocks found in a place where we know dinosaurs were making footprints, we can hypothesize that they lived in a place where shallow lakes and rivers were present. 